Good day everyone, this is Belina Morake. We are still busy with standard costing and today we are going to be focusing on overheads. So remember overheads can be divided into two. We can have our variable manufacturing overheads as well as the fixed manufacturing overheads. So we are going to be focusing on those two um, variances. But in overheads in general, remember that a predetermined overhead rate discussed in the earlier chapters represents the standard rates for overheads in each cost center. Remember that the predetermined overhead rate per relevant cost drive can be calculated and then the rate is applied to that specific cost drive. In order to achieve adequate cost control overheads, they must be analyzed into fixed and variable components. And then separate rates must be calculated for fixed production overheads and variable production overheads. So we are going to look into our illustrative example 11.1, but today we are only focusing on the overheads. So from the budgeted information, our variable overheads, we have budgeted three hours at a rate of two rent per hour, and that gives us a six rent per unit. For the fixed overheads, we budgeted three hours at four rent per hour with a cost of 12 rent per unit. And then the budgeted income statement for the variable overheads, we budgeted a total of 48,000 for the variable overheads and 96,000 for the fixed overheads. Actual information, we actually incurred 51,000 with regards to our variable manufacturing overheads and we incurred 100,000 with regards to our fixed overheads. So remember, variable production overheads variance that the total variable production overheads varies shows the difference between the variable overheads actually used and the variable overheads that should be used for actual production. This then means that the variable overheads variance can be split into two, where we have our variable overheads expenditure variance and variable overheads efficiency. These variances can only be calculated in standard production costing. In service costing, only the total variable overheads variance can be calculated. So in the example for the variable overheads, again, we need the formula to do the variable overheads rate, which is the standard rate minus the actual rate multiplied by the actual time. The standard rate, we get it from the budgeted information, which is two rent per hour. The actual rate, we get it from the actual information how much is the rate? It was not given. That means we have to calculate the rate. What has been given is how much is our actual variable overheads and they were given as 51,000. Overheads are based on labor hours. So we'll divide it by the 28,000, which represents our actual labor hours. And that will give us a rate of one rent 0.79 multiply by the actual hours that were worked, which was given as 28,500. And that will give us a variance of 6,000, which is favorable. Why is it favorable? We budgeted two rent for the variable overheads. We actually spend it one rand 79 cent. For the variable efficiency, the formula will then be standard hours minus actual hours multiplied by the standard rate. Remember, we compare at the same level. So the 28,500 actual variable overheads was when production was at 9,000. So we are going to have to reverse how much should have been the standard hours if production was at 9,000 using the budgeted information. So we'll then say that 9,000 units that were manufactured, variable overheads we budgeted at three hours. So it will be 9,000 multiplied by which will then give you 27,000 as your standard hours, which will then subtract it with the actual of 28,500 and multiply by two rent. That will give you a variance of 3,000. The variance is unfavorable. Why? 
because we budgeted 27,000, we actually used 28,500, which is more than what we had budgeted for. And then for the total variance then, we'll then say standard cost for the variable overheads minus the actual cost for the variable overheads. So the variable overheads per unit based on the budgeted information, it's six rent, multiply by the units that we have manufactured, which is 9,000, that will give you standard cost of 54,000. Minus the actual of 51,000, give us a variance of 3,000, which is favorable. Why is it favorable? We budgeted 54, we only used 51, so you managed to make a saving of 3,000. So what does that mean about the variable overheads? That a total variable production overheads variance is calculated as the difference between the actual cost of variable overheads and the standard variable overheads cost. The variable overheads expenditure indicates the actual cost of any change from the standard rate per hour. And whether we are paying more or less per hour for variable overheads. Whereas the variable overheads efficiency variance indicates whether we are using more or less variable overheads per unit than the expected. Then we have to look into the fixed overheads. The fixed overheads variance can be calculated depending on whether the organization is using absorption costing system or the marginal costing system. In marginal costing, you will have to remember that fixed production overheads are not absorbed into the cost of production. Therefore, there is no fixed overheads volume variance. Only an expenditure variance must be calculated. In absorption costing system, five fixed overheads variance can be calculated. That is the total fixed overheads variance, which can be split into the fixed overheads expenditure variance and the fixed overheads volume variance. The volume variance can further be split into the volume efficiency as well as the volume capacity. Still looking at example 11.1, now focusing on the fixed overheads. The fixed overheads expenditure variance, the formula will be the budgeted fixed overheads minus actual fixed overheads. For the budgeted fixed overheads, we are given from the budgeted income statement 96,000 minus the 100,000 from the actual statement, which is uh, 100,000, and that gives us a difference of 4,000. Is it, uh, it is unfavorable. Why? We budgeted 96, we have spent it more than what we had budgeted for. And then from the expenditure, we can then later calculate the volume variance. Remember that volume variance is only calculated when absorption costing system is used. So if you have to answer a question in the test, remember that you have to look as to whether the business is doing the absorption costing or the variable costing. So if the business uses the absorption costing, we'll then do the volume variance by saying the standard hours minus the budgeted hours multiplied by the standard rate. The standard hours, we manufactured 9,000 units we budgeted three hours according to the budgeted information for the uh, fixed overheads. So it will be 9,000 multiplied by the three, which will then give us 27,000. For the budgeted hours, we're going to use now the budgeted information. We budgeted to manufacture 8,000 units, and then we will then multiply that by the rate that we need, which will then give us the 24 thousand which will then give us the twenty four thousand so it will be that eight thousand multiplied by three hours for the twenty four thousand multiplied by the standard rate which we get it from the budgeted information which is four rent per hour and that will give us a variance of twelve thousand the variance is favorable because we have spent that less than what we had budgeted for and then the sub variance of volume it's the volume capacity and the volume efficiency. The formula for volume capacity will be the actual hours minus the budgeted hours multiplied by the standard rate. The actual hours we have been given as 28,500. 
the budgeted hours, it will be the 8,000 units that must be manufactured based on the budgeted information, multiply by the time that we need it to manufacture Y, and that will give us the 24,000. Multiply by the standard rate of 4 rent, and that will give us 18,000. For the volume efficiency, it will be the standard hours minus the actual hours multiplied by the standard rate. So the standard hours, it still be the 9,000 multiplied by 3. The actual hours is 28,500 multiplied by the rate of for rent, and that will give us a variance of 6,000, which is unfavorable. Why? Because we have used more hours than we were supposed to or we were budgeted for. So for the total fixed overhead variance, it will be the standard cost minus the actual cost. Here we'll now take the units, multiply by the fixed overhead cost per unit, which is budgeted at 12 rent, minus the actual cost, which is the 100,000. So you can then say 9,000 multiplied by 12, and that will give you 108,000 minus the 100,000 that we had budgeted, or that we actually spent that, and that will give us a variance of 8,000. It is favorable because we have spent that less than what we had budgeted for. Please bear in mind that with the variable costing, fixed overheads are not allowed to products. Instead, total fixed costs are charged as expense to the period in which they are incurred. That is only when expenditure variance is calculated if fixed profit is to be reconciled. But if absorption costing, fixed overheads are allocated to product. Therefore, additional fixed overheads variance called the volume variance is then calculated. What does this mean in the fixed overheads? It means that the total fixed overheads production variance is the amount of underabsorbed or overabsorbed under which is the difference between the overheads incurred and the overheads absorbed. The fixed overhead expenditure variance arises when actual expenditure is different from the budgeted expenditure. The fixed overhead volume variances arises when actual production is different from the budgeted production. And then the fixed overhead volume capacity indicates whether the actual production might be different from the budgeted production and reflects if the planned capacity has been utilized. A calendar variance is the influence of factor such as public holidays and shorter working days in some months on the average production for the year. The fixed overheads variance causes the cost of fixed production overheads expenditure variance is the cost of this variance is fixed overheads expenditure being higher or lower than the budgeted. For example, in cases of in electricity changes or salary increases. The causes of fixed production overheads volume will be in similar to direct labor efficiency variance as overheads are frequently absorbed into production by means of labor hours. The causes of overheads variances, public holidays is one of them, differences in working days in specific months, usually have fewer working days than other months, budgeted over time, different production level as a result of seasonal trends.